So hey guys, once again, as an introduction, I am a recent grad from Georgia State University, Atlanta, and there I completed my undergrad in three years and masters in the last one year. And today I have all my W2 statements, which tells me about the variety of jobs I did in the last four years of my college. That includes working in dining hall, uh, RA, TA. I'll be giving you details of all those jobs with my salary steps so that you can get to know how much money you can make for each category of these jobs and how to maximize your college income. So let's get started. But first this video is brought to you by Wondershare Dr. Phone. Last time, aapko yaad hoga, if you remember last time, I was able to transfer my WhatsApp data from Android smartphone to my iPhone within five minutes. But now I actually forgot my Android screen lock of my OnePlus 5 phone and I was able to recover it like a charm in just less than five minutes. So all you have to do is connect your phone using a USB cable to your MacBook or to your Windows computer, and then it'll tell you the steps. And once you complete those steps, you will be able to reset your screen lock. But you have to remember that it will clear all the data of your Android smartphone or of your iPhone, and it can even recover your iCloud password, if you forgot your Apple ID password, you can do that. If you forgot your Face ID or Apple ID, you can do that as well. So it's just amazing. So you can get started with the link in the description below. Starting with year one, when I got my acceptance letter from the university, I started looking for the jobs that I can apply on campus because I know that housing and food is very, very expensive. So I had in my mind that I want to do on campus job from the beginning. So I went to their website, we use a platform called Handshake and their Panther career services. So I went to both of these websites, you can find the site of your university, whether it's in Canada, Australia, US, they have pretty much very similar system. So once you go to their career website, you can find jobs such as jobs in gym, in recreation center, whatever they call it, or in library, jobs in student center, job as a receptionist, jobs in dining halls. So all these variety of jobs you can apply on the website and they have the hourly rate student and most of them had a rate close to minimum wage. So minimum wage in Georgia is currently $8.5. In Illinois, it's $10. California, New York, it's $12 to $15. So it varies, but I'm just giving you an idea of Georgia. So my salary uh, was 8.5 per hour. It's more than the minimum wage in Georgia. So anyways, so I personally didn't get a single job before landing in the US. I got my first job only through connections. Even it was a, a simple job working in a dining hall, cleaning the tables or washing dishes. So I got it through my best friend, Naman, and he told me he's already working in a dining hall. So I went to the same dining hall and they told me we don't have a lot of shifts open right now. So they gave me only two to three options that the shift were at a weird timings or at weird timings, such as they were from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. on Monday and 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. on Tuesday, that these are the times pretty much no one want to work for. So they were very weird. So I gave a shot for one week and it was very, very uncomfortable. First of all, I cannot sleep well at night. So that's why I was sure I want to quit it. But luckily, before I quit the job, I got a job in math tutoring center. So in math tutoring center, they had a requirement if I have done calculus one, which is like same 11th, 12th grade differentiation and integration, which we do in our 11th, 12th standard in India. So what's other similar that integrate karna, differentiate karna. So I had already done because I had AP credits for it. So they considered my credits and they were willing to offer me a job as a tutor. They took my test to test my abilities and differentiation and integration and pre-calculus. And luckily all the questions were from NCRT back in 11th, 12th grade. So it was easy. It was really, really simple questions. And you know that the IIT J level in India is much up there as compared to like the level of difficulty in even colleges in US. So that's why it was easy for me and I cleared it. And I started helping students in math, calculus one, calculus two, pre-calculus, trigonometry and it was very simple and there also I was paid $8.5 an hour. So the salary in as a math tutor and versus working in a dining hall was absolutely 
same so that's how i started working and in the beginning since it was my first job i didn't get a lot of hours i used to work for 12 hours but whenever someone was absent or you can say someone was sick i used to take the shift i used to ask them just give me this shift so that i want to maximize 20 hours per week of my job so that's how i started to make around 500 to 600 dollars and my rent was 700 dollars so it was definitely not enough and job on campus whenever you're living on campus you pay in advance so i just had to worry about my food expenses because i already paid by then so anyways it was good amount of money so by the end of first year uh, or you can say first semester because if i made on average 600 dollars per month and the semester was for three and a half months or you can say four months i was able to make around 2100 dollars in the first semester and the next semester i increased my hours my shift and because it, because i'd already worked before so i increased my shift to 18 hours a week then i was able to make more than $600 per month and then it increased to $2,600 for the second semester. So by the end of two semesters, I made around $4,800 and it was, it was, I think good, good amount of money. And luckily after two semesters were over in the summer of first year, I got my first internship. And in that internship, I cannot reveal the exact amount I was making. You can say I was making close to 20 to $30 an hour. And that internship was also through connections. And anyways, uh, in the first internship, I made close to 9,000 to 10,500. You can just guess the amount because I cannot give you the exact money I could make in that internship. So 9,000 to $10,500, you can say. And that's the amount of money I've made in my first year. So if you total it up, it'll be, we can round it off $10,000 in internship and around $4,800 in my on-campus jobs. So that comes out to be 13,000 800 in my first year i think it's a good amount of money considering i paid around thirty five thousand dollars in tuition it is definitely less than what i paid but anyways let's move on to the second year now starting with year two i was able to continue my internship so i was doing full-time internship that is 40 hours in the summer but when the next semester started in the second year i asked them can you offer me part-time internship and they did and it was legal in the us so part-time internship you can do unlimited there's no bound but full-time internship you can do only for one year so that means you can in do full-time internship for four years so anyways uh, that's the legality so when i was doing part-time internship the amount of money i was making was much more as compared to any on-campus job so that's why i was not just able to pay my housing my food expenses but at the end of the first semester of second year i was able to save some money as tuition for the next semester as well so that's how my financial independence story started so that internship was very very highly paying but it was very tough time you know uh, taking five to six classes and then doing internship as well so anyways and at the end of my second year i had made close to around ten thousand dollars or more before even doing internship in my second year so that was just crazy so anyways after those two semesters because each each year has two semesters fall and spring so after fall plus spring semester in my second year i did full-time internship at another company and that was paying me even better than before so then i once again made close to ten thousand to eleven thousand dollars in that summer as well because range is very similar like it will be like thousand jump every single year so uh, anyways i made that money and then paid my tuition for third year first semester using that money so that's how it continued and that's how my financial independence journey continued anyways so that's the amount of money i paid and uh also talking about the tax returns so since these are like w2 statements it has my social security number so i cannot show you these but uh in these it has return amount of tax i paid so i can tell you that for the first year if i paid around 3500 dollars of taxes i got 1500 dollars back in the tax return so if you are in the us you will be filing your tax return the deadline is april 15 this year and you will be getting some tax return that includes your tax return some for state some for federal and you don't have to pay fica taxes being an international student in the us so i was getting all that back anyways so now talking about third year so as, as i've already showed you my income for two years third year i chose not to do part-time internship because 
it was very stressful i wanted to you know uh work on campus because first of all it's convenient you don't have to travel and at the same time it is less stressful so that's why i chose to work as a ta so i was working as a computer science ta as compared to a math tutor last time and this was a 16 hours shift 8 hours of grading the papers of students who took computer science classes such as data structure system level and computer architecture so if you have taken these classes you can become a tutor for these classes so that's how it worked so once you become senior in college you can become tutor for the junior level classes and it's same in iit as well i have checked with iit delhi and they told me the same anyways so for third year i started doing that and at that time i was paid between 10 to 12 dollars an hour and it was very highly paying and it was not that stressful because you don't grade papers all the time one week it's like lot of grading work one week it's chill but 8 hours of tutoring is consistent so i really like that job anyways and by the end of uh my th- that year i was still financially independent because i was making 600 to 700 dollars and my rent was still 400 dollars so it was good amount of money and i uh i had to I- and i was able to pay the tuition using the internship money so i was still financially independent anyways now starting with year 4 so year 4 that was my master's journey because at the end of my 3 years of college i had completed my undergrad and now started doing masters so when you start your masters journey you are doing gra not undergraduate research research assistantship not undergrad teaching assistantship but you are actually doing graduate research assistantship and graduate teaching assistantship and this time i was just graduate research assistantship so i had a research professor with whom i was working and it was also a good amount of money that i was making every month and that was a stipend and that was once again in the range of 600 to 700 dollars as well but in that stipend the good part is that they pay your tuition as well so it was a fully funded masters and it was good amount of money as well so i'm just trying to say that every year the amount of money i was making is very very consistent it is between uh you can say 10000 dollars of internship money and on campus job sometimes $5000 sometimes $8000 so you can say that in a college year i was making close to between 40 uh, between $15000 to around $18000 every year on average and i paid around $3000 to $4000 in tax and then i got around $1500 to $200 tax back in my account as tax return because i was a student and the amount of make money i was making is too less to get taxed anyways so that's my four years of college income and now some tips to how to maximize it the number one will be always ask them to give you more hours and always keep taking shift if someone is absent so let's say that you have a group of 10 people working at a particular job post it could be a library or student center wherever so you can just make a group and say that hey i will not be able to make to my shift and you can just take the shift and you will be paid for that shift so that's how it works because if you work you will get the money if that person doesn't work he will not get the money that's number one tip number two is when you are going through the website of on campus jobs just see the options you have and just compare the salaries and you can then choose the job with the highest amount of salary and other will be doing a part time internship so once you've completed two semesters fall plus spring in the us you can do full time internship or part time internship and part time internship at a particular company pays you highly more uh, way more than any on campus job so these will be some of the tips and these were my college income and other 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 than that you have to keep in mind is your job has to be related to your major for example if you want to work at a random gas station which is not in your university that will not be allowed so on campus job or the jobs directly related to your major so that will be it so i hope this video is helpful because the previous video i had made on jobs i think it is still up to date it is still valid currently but i just wanted to give you more information so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye